Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Young Sutton and welcome to my channel. As promised in my last video, today I am sharing my six card or three by two spread. This spread will show you what someone is currently facing, what they're dealing with or thinking about and what's influencing or compounding or causing the situation or issue. This spread works really well for daily draws or weekly buddy swaps that you uh, do in the practice groups, such as the World Lenormand Association group on Facebook. I know they do weekly buddy swaps. It also works really well when you're doing a fun reading for someone at a party. Hint, hint, take your cards to all of your holiday get-togethers that are coming up. Okay, it's also perfect to use when someone comes to you for a reading and they say they have no question. Just lay it out, tell them what you see, and watch the questions begin to flow. So I, I'm having so much fun with this spread that I'm starting to use it in place of any three card line for almost any question. Okay, so I used my uh, Grand Tableau Lenormand Oracle cards today. And here is the spread that I have to share with you. Okay. Now, here's how you do it. You formulate your question as you do for any small spread. If you're laying this for someone in order to find out what's going on with them, simply ask the cards to show you the most significant issue in this person's life at the moment. Now this spread I did yesterday, and it was for a man, and I did not pre-select him, he just appeared. Um, and he had no question, he had never had a card reading. He didn't ask for a card reading, but he gave me permission to do it. And he just thought, you know, he was going to enjoy his Thanksgiving turkey, uh, but he was kind enough to allow me to use him <laughs> for <laughs> for these uh, for this card reading so that I could make today's video what I asked was what is weighing most heavily on his mind lately that's what I asked all right so while you're focusing on your question you shuffle the cards and set your intention to lay a line of three followed by another line of three that you place above as influencers or explainers of this line. I often call this bottom row what we have and the top row why we have it. So this is what we have and this is why we have it. Okay, now I like to read the bottom row first and then I look at the cards above to explain each card in the bottom row. So what do we have here? We have a man who's actively trying to come up with an idea on how to get away from his burdens, right? So let's look at the first uh, two cards, man with bear over his head. The man is focused on controlling, managing, and protecting what he has. It looks like he has a lot to manage. And with the cross and the tree in this spread, it looks like he may feel the need to protect himself or just you know, ride away from everything and go hibernate. Uh, he's, I, I'd say he's experiencing fat times, but at a price. Right? He's probably the sole breadwinner and has a lot of pressure weighing on him. He's, he's got the bear above to show that he's in control of a lot and has a lot to manage. Right? Now, looking at the cross and the fish, the fish above the cross shows a lot, a lot of responsibility and hardship. The constant flow of transactions, exchanges, and, and increasing his ass assets is draining him. Mm. Uh, the underlying cross is showing his compulsion to constantly produce, right? The cross underneath the fish. Look at that. Compulsion to produce. Yeah, to keep increasing, to keep flowing, right? All right, now let's look at the rider and the tree. The tree is slowing down the rider by draining it of its energy. The rider represents ideas or, or the idea coming to him to ride away from the situation, right? When the rider is the final card in a line, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we can't see what it's bringing to the seeker because it's not facing anything, but while we may not know what it's moving toward, we can see what it's 
moving away from, right? Look at it that way. So here, it's trying to get away from the cross and trying to get out from under the tree. The rider also represents action, right? It's, it's pushing forward with something, as well as its primary meaning, of course, of news, information, ideas, or feedback arriving to the seeker. We could say that he wants new energy to visit him, but he's currently stuck. He wants to take action away from his problems, but the tree says that he doesn't know how to do that right now, right? He's stagnated here in this unhealthy spot. Now, the last thing I do with this spread is I look at the corner cards that diagonally mirror each other. That's these two and these two. Now, if I just name these cards in the order that you see them, like one, two, three, four, five, six, I start with cards three and four, and I finish with one and six, because I always want to finish with the last card. So I see here, by looking at tree and man, that the man is stuck in a stagnated and unhealthy place. But he's trying to take charge of the situation by putting energy into getting out from under all the pressure, right? While the bear guards his territory and needs to throw his weight around, the rider is quick and agile and wants to move like the wind to bring in new energy. Bear and rider, bear and rider tells me that he wants to make a major change to lighten his load. Okay, and that's all there is to it. It's such a fun, fast, easy reading. And I know that with the holidays coming up, um, this, is, it, this doesn't require a lot of room and um, you'll have a lot of fun with it. Just, you know, doing it at parties and get togethers. All right, so if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer using this spread, leave them in the comments below and I'll include as many as I can in another video. All right, that's it for today, my friends. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have fun playing with your cards. Bye, everybody.